relative to his dad's reign, Jotham's years as king was brief. Sixteen years. And so were verses about him in the Bible. This is in contrast to his father's reign, which was for over half a century. Despite this, one could still have reasonably expected him to have had a longer time on the throne. This is because King Jotham was only 25 years old when he became king. And with his reign lasting 16 years, then it means he died when he was just 41 years old. His short time on earth, though, was like a shooting star. Brilliant. And better yet, his achievements were more permanent. He made lemonade when he was given lemons. Just like King Uzziah, he made a lot of infrastructure improvements to the nation of Judah. Second Chronicles 27 verses 3 to 4. He built the upper gate of the house of the Lord and did much building on the wall of Awful. Moreover, he built cities in the hill country of Judah and forts and towers on the wooded hills. He also proved his mettle on the battlefield. By defeating the Ammonites on the battlefield, he plumped up his treasury with an additional 100 talents of silver. The nation's granaries also profited from the Ammonites' defeat as he gave them 10,000 cores of wheat and 10,000 cores of barley. While he never went to the extremes of his father in opposition to God, he did fail to go against his people and destroy the high places to other gods. And he did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, according to all that his father Uzziah had done. Nevertheless, the high places were not removed. The people still sacrificed and burned incense on the high places. 2 Kings 15 verses 34 to 35 The Bible does not reveal what or why King Jotham's story ended at such a young age. What can be seen through the few verses given to him in the Bible is that while he lived, he made the best of his time on earth. Like the parable that would be given many years later about the master who went away and left his three servants for a while with his talents. King Jotham reminds us to make the best of our talents. So that those reflecting on our lives will have much to emulate in deeds. Whether it is brief like his or long like his dad's. His early death also ended the trend of kings turning rogue in their old age. King Jotham is only the second son to have matched his father in doing right by God. The first was King Jehoshaphat. And just like King Jehoshaphat, his reign was another instance of a righteous king with a not-so-righteous people. 